The Sinai Desert, one of the most barren and inhospitable places in the world. The Israelites spent 40 years wandering through this desert, and still today there are many nomadic Bedouin tribes living here. There is life, but it clings precariously in the niches and around the oases. Hermits still inhabit the high cliffs. In some cases, only their lush and well-tended gardens give them away. Here, in the shadow of Mount Sinai, where God delivered the Ten Commandments to Moses, sits the world's oldest working Christian monastery, St. Catherine's. St. Catherine's was built in the early part of the 6th century AD by order of Emperor Justinian I and is dedicated to the martyr St. Catherine of Alexandria. The oldest extant parts of the monastery date to around the 12th century AD. Including this small chapel just outside the main body of the monastery. Which holds the remains of the monks dating back to the founding of the monastery. Including the first bishop who is preserved in the central case. The large wall surrounding the monastery was built in the 17th century, but the monastery has never actually been attacked. To this day, the monks of St. Catherine's have a treaty signed by Salah al-Din himself, guaranteeing protection to the monastery and all its monks. And for further protection, there is actually a mosque built within these walls. The local Bedouin tribes honor this ancient promise and continue to live in peace with the monks. The Library of St. Catherine's holds the second largest collection of ancient Christian manuscripts, second only to the Vatican. The most famous of these is the Codex Sinaiticus, the oldest extant copy of the New Testament dating to the 4th century AD. Although much of the manuscript was stolen in the 19th century and currently resides in the British Library, with some fragments also in St. Petersburg, Russia. St. Catherine's, sitting as it does at the base of Mount Sinai, is not far from the site where God appeared to Moses in the burning bush. The bush itself the very one through which Moses spoke with God, was moved inside the monastery ground sometime around the 14th century in order to protect it, and it remains here to this day. <laughs> 